Brian, I'm at Tim's and I'm gonna ask him three questions I have never asked my local coin shop dealer before. So Tim, I've got, I've got three questions I don't think I've ever asked you before. So let me just fire them off. I'm really curious what you'll say to these. Other than silver and gold, what should people be stacking or preparing with, in your opinion? for the times ahead um any essentials you know anything but toilet paper um <laughs> no i i think uh, after the election we're going to know a lot more about which way the country's going right um the recovery economic recovery is really the most important thing mm. uh and if anything interrupts that if like congress decides to reverse the trump tax cuts right and, you know just some of this nonsense they're talking about um People better start protecting themselves in a lot of different ways, not just to gold and silver. Um, the money is, is headed for a reset. Um, that can be very, very bad for a lot of people. It's not going to affect millionaires and billionaires because they're not using cash. You know, so right. they don't really care what the money money does. Everything will be revalued to protect them. I've, I've said that COVID-19 was a shot over the bow for us in terms of preparing, making sure we're not living, you know, with with little reserve, with little supplies. Day to it's day. Yeah. Day to day. Just, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and not many people saw the, the depth of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Chinese knew about it, but, you know, if, if we had been better informed, uh, a lot of this could have been taken care of in the beginning. This thing isn't over yet because they, they're, there are pockets of, you know, more virus attacks and um, people are only going to protect themselves, mm -hmm. you know, for so long. If they don't, if they don't know anybody who's gotten the virus, they're going to become very complacent. Um, oh. But the, wor the worst thing is the, the economy is in terrible shape. And not just because of the virus, I think the, right. because our monetary policy has been bad for years. Um, you know, and you can, you can lay the responsibility mm -hmm. of that right at the feet of Congress. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not all Nancy Pelosi's Congress. It's the Congress before, um, you know, when the um, Supreme Court, Roberts specifically, when they were discussing the health care bill, um, you know, where they wanted to eliminate the individual mandate and all the penalties. Yeah. Well, they, you know, the Democrats went to the Supreme Court and said, well, it's not penalties, those are taxes. And that's the responsibility of Congress. Congress so what the decision basically was, um, if you don't like it, go back to Congress and have right. it changed. And they haven't done that. Republicans had the Congress, they didn't change anything. No. So now they're in a pickle. And, you know, spending is out of control, the debt is out of control. Right. Um, Inflation hasn't hit because uh, we were blessed with a decline in oil. Um, but if if that reverses, uh, we could get a lot of inflation that people are seeing in different ways, mostly in food. So bottom line is, obviously, stacking and prepping is important for us to do with what's coming ahead. Yeah, if you if you have silver, yep. specifically silver coins, you'll be able to buy the things that you can't get easily. Second question. Um, do you exercise your Second Amendment rights? Absolutely. <laughs> we just don't know what days you exercise That's right. that right. Yeah. And, and I don't just, you know, lean out the window and shoot a Democrat every now and then. Oh, I'm just man. kidding. Um, <sighs> no, it's, I, I go to the range in Londonderry okay. and, and uh, practice. Mm. I think it's, it's, it's important for people to understand how guns operate mm. Um, mm. for a lot of reasons. I mean, if you're... If you're uh, in a conflict with the police, you need to understand what a gun can do. Okay? Good point. And calm down and <laughs> say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Smart move, Tim. Uh, third question. If Congress, the government, president, ever signed an executive order again that made silver and gold illegal, what would that mean to the coin and stamp shop? Um, well, actually what it would mean is we were taken over by a dictatorship because there's, there's no legal way of mm. confiscating gold and silver. There's no legal way. I mean, that would have to go through Congress. It couldn't be done by executive order.
Mm. Um, Not again? No, the executive order that uh, Roosevelt, uh, it, it was basically had a lot more flexibility than people think. I, I mean, know. It yeah, was mostly true. a voluntary recall. Yep. And the intent was just to separate gold from the currency because right. our currency was backed by gold. And they realized that there's not enough gold in the world to back a currency, especially ours. Right. And um, so They're they just pickle. wanted to separate it from the currency. That, that can't happen now, can it? That type of edict. Well, no, because Congress had to reverse it, so the U.S. Mint could make gold coins again. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we don't have gold and silver in our pockets. We're not backing it. Very few people have it. Yeah, Actually. relatively few, few people. And few it's people. it's not something that's ever been tracked. I mean, they True. obviously when wholesalers buy it from the U.S. Mint, if they buy a tube of uh, gold eagles, you know, a twenty coin tube, mm -hmm. um, that's the last tracking they have. How are they going to find out where it is? If they come in here and say, we went out, want to know everybody who's bought a gold coin from you. Um, well, let's see. <laughs> well, it won't show this that. Is, this is a receipt that you're building. It <laughs> doesn't have your name on it, and it won't have your name on it. Wow. Because we don't. there's no reason to take somebody's name. If That's good. You know, when you, yeah. you buy something for cash at uh, Subway, they don't take your name. If you go buy something at Macy's for cash, they don't take your name. Good point. They don't care. They, all, exactly. they will ask you, why well, are you using the cash? Wouldn't you like to have a Macy's card? <laughs> but that's that's important because some people have asked me, well, my LCS dealer is asking for my name and address and information. If I'm paying cash, I well, shouldn't have what, What's your plan I've on that? I've heard this more and more. People mm -hmm. are telling me that. Mm -hmm. um, every coin dealer is supposed to have what they call an anti-money money laundering plan. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I went to get one of these, and the IRS told me, "Oh, you have to go to one of these companies that sells them." And I wasn't going to spend two thousand dollars for a plan that I can make up myself. So mm -hmm. I took the best elements of plans that I know about and made up my own anti-money laundering plan. Mm -hmm. um, as an example, I won't take credit card over the phone. Uh, and uh, we can't take debit cards over the phone. I also heard that you don't take personal checks for gold. Is that right? Well, we we, sh we shouldn't, but I, you know, from the Yankee stacking community, oh, we boy. do. Um, but from I don't send the coins out until the check is cleared oh, wow. and it's beyond okay. the point of no return. You're getting some good business from the Yankee stacking yeah, community? Yeah, we have, we have, we, we've Thank met you. a lot of really good people from Yankee stacking. They love talking with you, Tim. And I do, too. Thank you for answering those three questions. Don't have any more questions? Oh, man. I might for a later date. Okay? <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Okay.